in this video, I'm going to show you how to master your GarageBand or any other tracks in iOS using the very cool Audio Master Pro. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And if you are about to release a song or you want to be able to master your tracks using your iPhone or your iPad, then this app, Audio Master Pro, is something you may want to consider. So let's dive in and learn all about it. So the way that Audio Master Pro works is that you can either set your custom EQ settings here and the limiting, or you can use one of the presets that come included with the application. Now it is a paid app, it's $19.99 US at the time of filming this review, and it will vary at different times depending where you are in the world. Full disclosure, they were kind enough to give me a free copy for the purpose of this review. Now it does differ from things like Final Touch, which I've reviewed before, and there's a bunch of links up the top there if you wanna check that out, because these are actually just just visualizations of the type of mastering. The only control that we have here is preset number one, two, and three. So all of these dials are not actually changeable. If you want complete control over mastering, then something like Final Touch may be worth investigating. But if you want a simple and effective way to master your songs in their smallest amount of time, then Audio Master Pro is definitely worth checking out. And the other good thing is there's also a subscription model. So if you prefer to pay a little bit less over time, maybe you need it for one or two projects over a short period of time, the subscription model might be better for you. If you're gonna use it on a lot of projects, then you may wanna buy it outright, the pro version. So both of those are available and they'll be linked in the description. And one final thing before we get started, if you want a completely free solution for mastering your projects in GarageBand on the iPhone or iPad, check out the video linked up the top there and down in the description where I show you how to master completely in GarageBand. And speaking of GarageBand, that's what we'll actually be using here to actually send our final mix over to Audio Master to be mastered. So this song may be familiar if you've seen some videos lately. Sounds like this. So this is my song called Imagination. I've just done some tweaks on the final mix here because I got some feedback that I needed a bit of reverb on the vocals, needed the vocal levels to come down a bit and a few other little things. So we've made some tweaks to that one. If we tap here in the top left corner, we're going to go back to our screen here and this is the file, Imagination number two. We're gonna tap on select in the top right corner, tap on that one, and then hit the share button in the bottom left. Now, we can share it as a song. We would need to actually share it as an uncompressed WAV file, so 44.124 bit, we hit on share there. What we now can do is hit the open in button, and you can actually, it's gonna export this, you can actually then share this directly into Audio Master Pro. What I prefer to do when I'm actually mastering and using any sort of audio app is to save it to the files somewhere first, and then send that wave file. That way I know I've got the wave of that final mix. And then when I do my final master, I'll be able to have both of those files, the final mix and the master. So let's wait for this to export now, and then we'll come back and show you the next step. So that is done, it is exported. Now I can tap save to files and I'm gonna save it here on my iPad in my GarageBand file transfer folder just because it's somewhere I know where I'm going to be able to get to it. So we've saved it into GarageBand file transfer. So now what we can do is we can go over to our files app and we can actually send it to Audio Master from there. So we'll go to our app switcher, we'll switch over to files. We know it's here in GarageBand file transfer because that's where we just put it. And there it is, imagination, well it's imagination two and three. There's a bit of a glitch at the moment in GarageBand that creates two copies every time you export something, go figure. So we're gonna tap select and we're gonna select this file. Now to share it to Audio Master, all we need to do is tap on the share button in the bottom left corner. And then across the top here are the apps that we can share it to. Now if we tap on the more button, we're gonna come in here and see all of these different app suggestions. There's Audio Master Pro. If we want to, we can tap edit and we can add this to add it up the top here to the apps that are actually going to be there as our favorites. So we hit done, we tap on copy to Audio Master Pro and here it is, the song file is here in Audio Master Pro ready for us to master. Now you can see here I was already playing around so I'm just gonna put that back to zero there. If we hit the play button here now just on this front screen it will start playing our track. So 
So you can already hear there that it's significantly louder than what we had before. So what mastering actually does is the majority of it is limiting. So it's adding a limiter to increase the overall volume. And what you can do down in the bottom right, if we hold the compare button, you can see how much limiting has been applied there. So generally, the first thing that I do here is reduce that amount because I generally, with the type of music I produce, I don't want it to be crushed. I don't want that pumping sort of limiting sound. I want it somewhere down here. So let's just pop it down to about there. And then if we hit play. Here when we hold down compare, that's the original final mix. And you can hear the difference from the original final mix and our mastered mix there. So that is very cool. We can do that. We might even just drop that down a little bit more. So now the options that we have are really simple and really straightforward. We can start playing with the EQ here. So you've got your bass down the bottom here, and then you've got mid-range, and then your treble. You've got a six band EQ. To change the frequency, we just tap on the number here, and we can adjust it down the bottom here. So we can adjust what frequency it is, and we can even adjust the Q setting for how narrow or how wide our Q setting is. And if you don't know about Q and EQ, I'll link another video all about EQ and how to use EQ. Because really, the two key components of mastering are generally limiting, and EQ. Most of the time, you're not gonna play around with reverb, you're not gonna add a bunch of additional other compression, other effects, it's generally down to this. And again, if you do wanna add those other effects, maybe check out the other processes. So again, there's links down below for Final Touch, which is a great mastering app that gives you complete control, as well as how to master in GarageBand. So if we wanted to, we could play around with this. So for, for instance, for me, I would grab something around here and I would go to these mid-range and say, you know, I really don't like around the 1500 because that's where I get a bit nasally. So I'm going to dial in there and reduce that down. So if I play this back now, Come to a part where I'm singing, perhaps. Come down further, like that. Days when I was a little kid, always worried about the things I never did. Always thinking about the next big problem, even when it's. And what I did there is I held down. If you hold down on the screen, it will go gray and that's bypassing that. So that's meaning it's not doing the processing. So let's show you, if I just sort of put the bass all the way down like this and we play it now. Someone else that's on the hook me in, light and sinker. Ever wonder what it's like to be an overthinker, tinker with all... So you can hear there that the bass changes that I've put in there are gonna change when I do that. Now that is one way to do it. If you wanna reset everything, just tap the reset button here in the top right and you're back to my little thoughts. Maybe it was just the way back to the original version. And again, remember, you can hold down that compare button there. That's going to turn off the limiting and then turn it back on. And again, if you want a simple way to master your tracks, I know it's a paid app. I know it's $20, but think about uh, how many times if you use something like Lander or eMastered or these online services, you get even less control than this and you're paying by the song. And this way you're gonna get a full high quality, uh, high definition wave file at the end and you can use it again and again if you pay for the pro version. So it is definitely worth considering. Now, what we have here, that was the EQ version. As you go through, you can see we've got presets for podcasts, we've got voiceover, we've got rock, folk, blues, classical, country, hip hop, electronic, jazz, Latin, new age, pop, R&B and soul, and that is it. Now, if you're getting excited by all of these dials, I need to make sure you're aware that we can't actually touch and change these dials. There's nothing there. There is only three presets here. There's a one, two, and three, and the way I've found these is that one is usually subtle, Two is usually medium amount, and three is where it kind of sort of kicks it in the kicks it in the guts a bit. So you can choose which one you want. So for this sort of track, what I would probably go with is something like the hip hop, and we'll start with the number one setting. So again, all we need to do is hit the play button here, and it's going to play back our track. We can hold down the compare for the on and off there, and we can hold down to compare on and off with our EQ settings here. So let's hit play. That I was taught to just believe that I was right, and when I lay in bed at night. The thought's still going round and round. So there you can hear that when I hold down on there, it turns off that setting. And when I bring it back up, it turns it back on. If we go to number two here and try again. Round and round and round in my head. And again, if we go to the number three. Sometimes it's just imagination. Nation's warring, everything is burning. Kind of surprised. 
So you can hear that this number three hip hop setting has a lot of additional bass. So the preset's obviously set to really enhance and boost up the bass side of that. Again, if we went back to say the number two, which is probably what I'd use here and hit play, now we can do the comparison of the limiting. So if we do that now, we hit play. Well, keep turning, mother nature is kicking There's our, our ass. And never seem to learn the lessons of our past. Instead of happiness, we're chasing money. And I think that's... And there's the what would be the mastered version of this one. Now, keep in mind with this, it's really hard to get a, a really balanced opinion of which sounds better because generally, louder sounds better. But when you keep that in mind, louder sounds better. So you do want your final mix to be loud. And remember, loudness, what it's going to do, it's not going to clip your signal, but it is going to push it as loud as it can and limit it at that zero dB mark. That being said, if you go up here, and I won't do it because it'll start pumping and sounding horrible on the video, but if you get this app, you can put it all the way up here, it is going to sound quite terrible. I'll just drive it up a little bit just to give you an idea here. So we'll turn it on. It's uh, kind of funny, not hard to use an indicator to tell us your direction or even to make the way some haters are really just trying to help us appreciate the finer points of the one. So hopefully you can hear as we get too far up, you start getting a bit of pumping and it's not going to sound great for most types of music. If you like that sound, then go your hardest, do that. Let's just try another preset because this is a bit of a, a bit of a combination between a rock song and a hip hop song. If we come over here to the rock setting, let's just try this one now. Or we'll go back a little bit to the to the verse here, like so. Instead of happiness, we're chasing money. And I think that's uh, kind of funny. Not hard to use an indicator to tell us your direction or even to make the way some haters are really just trying to help us appreciate the fine. So you, again, you can hear it's bringing out the bass, it's bringing up the levels, and it's really sort of making it a fuller sound. If we went to the number one setting here, now points to the ones who are keeping score. Uh, I think I'm about 40 love down. That it's a little, little bit more subtle. So what would I go with for this? I'd probably go hip hop, and I'd probably go maybe the number one or maybe the number two. Let's go two just so that we have a bit of a difference here. So we'll play it again here. Up in my head, yes, one more time. Never seem to find a way to unwinding up and never winding down, down in the park like a clown, James Brown. So yeah, I'd probably go with something like that. So when we're done and when you're ready to export, all we need to do now is tap in the top right here and we can export it as WAVE, M4A, M4A Mono or cancel. We can export this one as a WAVE and that's going to prepare the export. Now, where would we like to put it? We can share it. We can open with iCloud Drive or iTunes file sharing. I'm going to go iCloud Drive because this will actually pop up and now we can save it back. So if we just go into GarageBand file transfer and hit save on that one, uh, we're going to keep both. It's kept the file name the same. So we'll create a second version of this one as our master version. We'll tap on keep both and it will pop up just like this. And we're done. No, we're not. Uh, it's, it's giving us a, an ad for the other one, Video Master Pro. We'll just hit close on that one. Audio mastered successfully. So that is all good to go. We can now swap back. So if we go to our app switcher and go back to files where it's still sitting here, but you'll notice that behind the scenes there, we've now got another imagination. We'll just hit done. Imagination version 4 here, and this is this final WAV file version that has been created by Audio Master Pro. So if we tap on this one, now we can hit play, and... So there's our mastered version. And if you look at the WAV file down the bottom there, you can see it's been mastered because it's got these peaks up here. And if anything, I may have gone even a little bit too far. So I may go back and do it again because down here it's a little bit of a sausage waveform. So we may want it to be a bit more subtle. But if we tap done, let's go back and take a look at the original version and look at the WAV file of this one. It's just taking a moment to actually populate that. Just give it a moment here. Okay, it's not showing us the WAV file for some reason. This version, no. Let's. Uh, what I'll do is I'll jump over to Audio Share, another great app that I recommend, and I'll show you the difference of these in Audio Share as well. Okay, so here we are in Audio Share. I'm going to hit the Document Picker here to import a file. We're gonna firstly let's do this one here, Imagination Four. This is the mastered version. There you can see. So there's the mastered WAV file. Now, if we come in here and I'll show you the other one, we'll come in here, Document Picker and we will choose Imagination 2, 
and bring in this file, there's the original version. So you can see there, it's got a lot more headroom in there. When we master it, it just raises everything up and it sort of peaks it off at the top and does some limiting. So that's the difference between unmastered and a mastered final product. And again, I may wanna go back and tweak that. Maybe I crushed that a little bit too much. The one other thing that you may have noticed if you've been playing along at home is that we've got a little bit of a, a gap here at the start. So this is where Audio Share, the other app here, this <laughs> was just coincidental I talked about this, can help because this has a tool. If we tap on tools in the top right here, we can actually trim and fade. And there's a heap of audio editors. There's Lexus Audio Editor as well that can do this. And I'll link a video about that one. That's a free editor if you don't want to buy Audio Share that can actually do this. So what we can do here is we can actually zoom in, tap and hold to zoom in and go right to there and release just before that first waveform. And then if we hit the save button in the top right corner, it's going to trim that. And then if we wanted to release this, this would be the file we'd release. Cause if we hit play, then we're good to go. And I think that's pretty close. That's about where I want to master it. And we've done that in, I mean, it took me probably five minutes because I demonstrated it, but you could realistically do that even quicker. And again, you can go back and do maybe three or four different masters with different presets, then listen to them, go out, listen to them on different devices and go, which one of these is going to work for me? Go back and tweak it, try again. Again, some folks will want complete control. Something like Final Touch is good. You may want to do it yourself for free. GarageBand is good. If you want simplicity, convenience, and just something that you can plug it in and it does it and goes, then Audio Master may be something for you to check out. There's two more videos all about mastering in iOS. Link down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live today. Link in the top corner and I'll see you next time.